Now, even though you will only very rarely want to use the await type within TypeScript, having a look at how it works will give you a better appreciation for how the await keyword works within JavaScript. So let's take a look. To demonstrate an interesting behavior of the await keyword within JavaScript, we have a simple async main function and within that we create two promises. The first one is a simple promise around a string which we resolve to the string ladies as a tribute to Beyonce and then we have a promise of a promise of a promise of a string which we will eventually resolve to Vin Diesel. Now the thing that is going to be obvious to most people is that when we await a promise, we get the resolved value as a result. So in this particular case, it will be the string ladies. However, if we await a promise of a promise of a promise, do we get promise promise or do we get the final value? And the answer is that we get the final value. All of the intermediate promises get unwrapped. When we use an await keyword, it will await anything that is denable within the chain and return the final result. And this JavaScript behavior is something that TypeScript understands as well. When we hover over single, we see a promise of a string, whereas single result is just a string. And the same is true for triple. We have promise, promise, promise of a string, but the type that TypeScript infers for the awaited result is exactly what JavaScript will return, which is just a string. Now this will actually be true for any level of promise wrapping. The await keyword within JavaScript will wait for all of the promises to resolve before returning the final resolved value. And the awaited type utility that exists within TypeScript is designed to map this behavior. So if we have a promise, 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 doesn't matter, lots of promises wrapping a string, and we pass this type to the awaited type utility function, we get back just the unwrapped value, which is in this case, string. And that's all the behavior that you really need to know, but let's take a look at how it is actually implemented within the TypeScript type system. Now, if you go to the definition of the awaited utility, you can see that there is a lot over here. So I will reorganize it a bit, only moving the comments, not touching any of the code. Just in my opinion, this reads a bit better. So yeah, this utility is designed to emulate the behavior of the await keyword in JavaScript as we have seen, and it does a recursive thenable unwrap to give you the final awaited type. First off, using a conditional type, we check if it is null or undefined, and if it is, we get back null or undefined. Next up, we will do a recursive check of whether it is a thenable, and just in case it turns out to be not a thenable, it means that there is no more need for unwrapping and we return just that final type T. So the only thing that we now have to look at is this recursive unwrapping of when it is indeed a thenable. So we really need to check if it is a thenable, and if it is, we make a recursive call to awaited V, which will eventually resolve to T when it is no longer a thenable chain. But before we do that, there's one more check that we do, and that is in case the function that gets passed to then is not actually a function and just a value, which means that it is an error, in which case we resolve it to never. Now let me rephrase this entire process again for further clarity. In case it is null or undefined or no longer a thenable, it means that we have completely unwrapped and we will eventually return t. Otherwise, if it is a thenable, we intend to continue the chain with a weighted v. And if in case our intentions are violated because then did not take a function, we resolve it to never. Now, even though I've explained it twice, you don't actually need to look at the implementation of awaited in order to use it effectively, but this should settle some of your curiosity just a bit. Now we've looked at how the await keyword works within JavaScript and how the awaited type utility tries to mimic that functionality within the TypeScript type system. The final step is to look at how you can use this awaited type utility within your own code. And using this utility is pretty simple. Whenever you have access to a type T and you are using an await keyword on it, TypeScript will actually infer the result to be awaited of type T anyways. But if you want to, you can add this explicit annotation yourself as well. And just in case this awaited type utility ends up in any of your function signatures or your object properties, now you have a better understanding of why this exists. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more developer tips and tricks and I will see you in the next one.